Everything I need. I'm glad I found the girl in my dreams. Shotty, you a blessing. 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 Shotty, shotty. Everything I need. I'm glad I found the girl in my dreams. Shotty, you a blessing. Shotty, you a blessing. Shotty, you a blessing. Shotty, you a blessing. Baby, follow my lead. Started off as friends. Shotty was my best friend, and she took my hand. What's up, Bridget Gang? It's your boy True. And your girl Naisha. And we are back with another one. Another one. Alright, guys, so we're doing an episode of Cooking with the Goodries, and today on the menu is taco salad. We love taco salad in this house, so you guys are gonna see a little bit on how we make it. This is not exactly all the way how we make it because all of this corona stuff is going on, it's not a lot of stuff in the stores. So we're just gonna show you kind of how we make it. It's but we got our own little twist that we put to it, so you guys don't get to see the whole thing because a lot of the stuff wasn't in the store but without further ado let's get into this video okay you guys so we got some doritos our kids love hot doritos we got some fiesta cheese tomatoes um lemon avocado peppers sour cream and we got some hot cauliflower and then over here we have our meat. This is one of the meats that we put in it. This is actually ground turkey. We eat both, we eat ground turkey and ground beef, but my mom likes ground turkey better just because it's more healthier. And then I will be putting a little twist. One of our little twists that we put in it is um, chorizo. Comment down below if you guys put chorizo in you guys' taco meat. Is it chorizo or chorizo? Chorizo. Chorizo. They know what I'm talking about. Chorizo. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. And then, of course, we have some taco seasoning. Did I? The mild taco seasoning. Yeah, let me show y'all how I chop this stuff up, man, and get it how it needs to be. I'm getting ready to start with, I usually start with the tomatoes first. A couple of them, or what you want to do? Yes, we got. We need a lot of tomatoes, and try to do them as small as you can so we can get Always enough. Always wash these things off. Yes. People picking these off at the store. Especially, y'all, the corona is going around. So everything needs to be washed. I put hands, everything before you're cooking. We got yeah. to be clean. Yeah, you gotta be People cool. should have been doing that anyway, but. We have to get a new knife, because the, the last knife we had made me so mad I wouldn't cut a tomato, it would just slide across it. I'm like, yo, mm -hmm. man, throw these knives away. Y'all know where we got this one right here from? 99 cent only. <laughs> I got like four for a buck. And look at that bad boy cut. That's all I needed. I just needed it to cut. Mm -hmm. I'm about to teach him how to cut though. Watch this, wifey. See, look, this one kind of chunky, but it's cool though. After you hit it from the side, mm -hmm. go like that. As many as possible, as many as you can get out of it. And then what you do is you turn it over. Make to sure you're making them small though. Watch this. See how that? Diced tomatoes, guys. See that? Dice. You heard it here first, you learned it here. And look at you may have an end where it comes. You just, you know, hit it like that right down the middle. So it's kind of like cutting a bell pepper, you know. And then you just put it back to the side like that. You know what I forgot to ask you guys is how you guys like the new intro. Comment down below if you guys are feeling the new intro video or if you like the last one the best. I really like this one. Um, it was so hard to get the kids. That they're like the hardest part of shooting any video. <laughs> yes, they're very hard to shoot. <laughs> yes. We'll be at 50 before the year's even halfway over. You guys, I kind of let the meat cook through a little bit to where it's like, ooh, it's fogging up the whole camera. To where it's like um, browning on its own a little bit and like the water rises up a little bit. Y'all know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Also, we are now on lockdown today yeah we just crazy. got on lockdown arizona is officially on lockdown so what's it's up with these crazy. checks they're supposed to be sending out i i, I seen <laughs> something about the checks on world star i'm serious i they know put but i i don't really know about it though they said something like twelve hundred dollars for the grown-ups or yeah they the, said it but i don't really know about it's it on world star you know when it's on world star that's when it's official i know that trump signed the i don't know what it's called the amendment for it so okay yeah it's always be safe you guys like listen to exactly what they're saying like you need to be in your house 
They're telling you you need to be in your house, stay in your house. They're telling you to wash your hands more or whatever you're doing. Wash your hands more. Keep your kids safe, everybody who has kids, and keep yourself your safe. Like, you are not safe in your own household with your kids if you're being dirty and stuff. But I feel like everybody should be washing their hands and stuff anyway. But take the extra steps if you guys need Lysol, if you guys got Lysol every day, um, the toys and stuff, keeping stuff out of your baby's mouths. I am actually got to the point where I don't let Renzo walk around with his passy anymore. I just let, I leave it in his playpen for him to sleep with because I'm like, okay, you know what? I am always like um, washing this thing all day long and it's just still more germs. Germs is catching on his, um, the clip and everything that's on there. So I just kind of make sure that I'm um, monitoring him with it and I don't let him crawl around with it and stuff anymore it's just like yeah i'm not trying to risk anything i've seen kids fighting for their life i'm praying for these people out here the people who have it um praising god for the people who got rid of it and and everything it's just a lot right now and i really feel like it's time for everybody to literally take heed to what's going on and stay safe it's stay safe we got gloves we've been making homemade masks y'all want me to show y'all how my homemade mask i can show y'all my homemade, homemade mask because i understand that they are selling out in the stores and i literally just make one with um what is it called paper towels um a uh, stapler and rubber band okay now it's time for me to cook this bait because it's starting to stick a little bit all right so i got the tomatoes cracking now i need to find a bowl these bowls clean right here or is this too big? Yeah, that's too big, but they are clean. Yeah, Gotta find a bowl to get these tomatoes in so we can get this built up. So next on the agenda is I'm gonna get the, uh, should I can bang the onion out? Get the onion out the way? I'm gonna go ahead yeah. and bang the onion out the way. Cause this right here will burn your eyes. If you cut this thing too close to your eyes, it'll burn your eyeballs out. <laughs> so don't cut a... Don't cut an onion you know what too I close. Think it is because yeah, it's that stuff that come out of it. It's like this yes, stuff yes. that just poured up. It's like uh, like that mist that come out. Yeah. It's like it's you know, it'll burn your eyes. You gotta make sure you cut right when you're playing with these onions. But we got the tomatoes, guys. Tomatoes, good, very good. We love tomatoes around here. Remember, we hate ketchup, but we love tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I call it chorizo because it's a C H. Chorizo or chorizo? Chorizo. Chorizo. Comment down below who's who's right. Y'all don't forget to like this video so far if you're still tuning in. See when you cutting the onion, I cut mine from both ends, and then you take all the this part off right here. Y'all can't see it though because wife ain't recording me, but it's cool. But you got to take this stuff from here, huh? You want the punch of burn? Nice. You take all this off right here. Cut that brown part off. And then once you're ready to get your onion popping off, it's gotta be like that. You feel me? It's gotta be like that. You're gonna chop them down and dice them up. So first thing you do is cut them in half. Chop them in half. Chop them in half like that. Then you do one Why more time. Why you look like you're about to cut yourself? Do one more time. And then you start Wait, playing. Oh yeah, but don't make them too big though. Look at you start playing with the end. Just play with the end. See that? You always make your stuff too See big. That? See that? I'm making it the easiest possible. It takes, it's gonna be the same, you feel me? No, yeah, but easy is not better because hey, now it's less food. But check this out though. Watch you still bust down. Mm -mm. You feel me? You gonna cut yourself. That's all, right, so you just go like that. If you wanna go smaller, you know, you just chop down a little bit. That's that ground turkey. Okay, you think you can do it better? Huh? I think you can probably do it a little better. My hand hurt. You just want me to use my muscle. Wifey just got her hair done. She did it herself. Yes. It's the color I've been telling her to get. I'm trying to still get used me? to this color because I just like so much of this color and I'm used to using it with like black or whatever, but nah, that's I'm sexy, like, well, though. while we're in quarantine, I might as well do something that's gonna grow my hair out because I've been really working on growing my hair out more because it's been at a standstill for so long. No, nah, that's sexy though. That's the color that I've been requesting because she always do black. She be trying to sneak red in there, here and there. But I've been requesting the light color. That should get like a light brown. Light as possible. Shoot, if you could do the whole head light brown, try that. Let's switch it up. Let's try something different now. But it came out good. She did that all herself. I actually am wearing blonde though in our intro video, so. 
in the intro? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, no, you wasn't. <laughs> was, except for the part when we were at the park. That was my natural hair, you guys. That's when I was balling her up. Like Comment down below if you guys think that me and True should do a mom versus dad day where we um, do different activities to see who wins. Because I feel like I'm a sports player, you know what So, I'm hold on. You want to challenge me and some stuff yeah, like that? like running. I won that off the rip. No, you what's, didn't even see me run. What's probably. something that you... No, you can't even beat Romeo. What you mean? <laughs> I can't beat Romeo. I'll be... Oh, come on now. I got 20 on it. You, you can't beat Romeo. I've been doing that when I... Was, I got a dub on it. You can't beat Romeo. <laughs> True. The fact that you even, like, think that I'm that slow is crazy. The fact that you think you can beat me is crazy. I can beat you. What else you think you could beat me in now? I can beat you in basketball. You think you could beat me in? Oh, you think you'll beat me in running? Anything you beat me in basketball? Yeah, I know I can beat you in his video games. Oh no. And I know I can beat you in Connect Four. Oh no, definitely not. I beat you like four times. I could beat you in Connect Four, no, dominoes, I... checkers, pool, basketball, I beat him like racing. Four times. Like four <laughs> times in Connect Four. She playing with y'all. Don't listen to what she's talking about. I taught her how to play Connect Four. No. That's what she got to understand. I showed her how to do the moves. She was confused and she was mad because she I couldn't stop the moves. Show no but moves. I showed her what she got to do to go two cool. to get two ways. She didn't know nothing about that until I came her up. Feel me? Yeah, I kept winning. So how oh, yeah. you show me when you ain't won? Huh? How you show me when you have? That's how won. you do that, wife. You just slice it right down the middle like that. All right, right y'all. So since we over here talking about competing against everything, let me show y'all how I cut my onion. Cause True does his. Y'all tell me who onions is better. Y'all like them big or y'all like them tiny? You like them small. Nobody want no big old onion. You don't want to taste it that much. Nah, onions is good like that. Cause think about when you're eating spaghetti, you want it chunky. You feel me? Ooh. This is not spaghetti, babe. You like yours tiny or you like yours chunky? It makes more, you guys. The smaller it is, the more it makes. Same thing. No name. Let me just add this stuff over there. Chariso. What do you call this? Chariso. Chariso? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. It's called chariso. Okay, y'all. I already put the seasoning in it, but of course, since I have so much meat, I don't even know if this is going to be enough chorizo, but we have a lot of people to feed today, so there's a lot of meat for one season. All right, so we have the lemon. Y'all, excuse the mess. Of course, cooking gets messy, but squeeze that lemon gotta and squeeze. squeeze. You got to squeeze it. It's got to look like this, you feel me? That was a juicy me, one. Mix it first real quick. Oh, dang. That's yeah. what I said. We couldn't have got a smaller bowl, but it's all good, y'all. A bigger bowl. Ooh, that's a lot of seeds in there. All right, that's cool. All right, you guys. So we're just going to show y'all real quick how we make it. This is actually Romeo's plate. Because he's starving. So, so you put the chips or whatever. Then you bring it over here to the meat. Put some meat on it. Romeo actually likes a lot of meat. Taco salad. For y'all that don't know. This is what it is. And then, why didn't I open this? Wait, I don't even put this out with first. I put this first. I put some of this first. He likes this on there. I didn't put no jalapenos in this because I'm the only one that eat the jalapenos, so. Hold on, let me get a spoon. Get a spoon. And then you like to just whip it around. Whip it. Yeah. Whip it real hard. Whip it. Whip it. And then you put it on top. 
Romeo actually likes to um, tapatio hot sauce, so he will his will have tapatio hot sauce. Romeo loves tapatio. Tapatio. So this is what the place looked like. Well, they actually look better than this, y'all. But like I said, we didn't have everything for it. But this is just like a little bit of what it looked like, cause like we couldn't get cilantro and all the other kind of stuff that we put in it. I think we put a, a couple more things in it. But that is how we make taco salad. All right, you guys, so that ends this video with Cooking with the Goodries. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notification bells and also comment down below your IG, your Twitter, whatever you guys want to be shouted out in the video if you guys turn on those post notification bells. And also we need it turned on because we are about to do a giveaway. So please make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the marathon so far. And we love you guys. Hope everybody is staying safe out there. If you guys try to make the taco salad, comment down below in this video or the next video that how you guys has turned out as well, okay? And so that is all for this video. And don't forget that we, we all we got. got. Everything I need. I'm glad I found the girl in my dreams. Shotty, you a blessing. 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 Everything I need. I'm glad I found the girl in my dreams. Shotty, you a blessing. Shotty, you a blessing. Shotty, you a blessing. Shotty, you a blessing. Baby, follow my lead. Started off as friends. Shotty was my best friend and she took my hand